King Frederick, as I live and breathe, it's a wonderful chance to say thank you and talk about the influence you've had in my life. When I moved to New York City 40 years ago, I had a meeting that would ultimately lead to my meeting Hal Prince and being hired by him. I think the only reason they paid any attention to me when they saw that I was a kid from River Heights, Utah, they asked me a question. Do you know Fred Adams? And my affirmative answer got me into the door and began my career there. You have been so important to me. I've been coming to the Shakespeare Festival for 35 years. I've missed very few of the seasons since there. I've learned a great deal, but in the largest part is watching you, Fred, watching you manage this incredible dream, turning it into reality. Thank you for being a mentor to me and a friend. You gave me the courage to, when I saw the conditions were proper, that we could maybe have a festival in Logan, you were there to help me and to mentor me and to support me from that time and cheer when things were going well and buoy me up when I was worried about the future. I appreciate that all so much. Thank you for holding my hand when we went to the state legislature and between the two of us we were able to make some differences in the arts here in the state of Utah. I love you dearly. You're the best friend anyone could ever have and I want to grow up to be just like you.